So you probably know that electricity in the UK is produced in power stations, but we've got to get that electricity around the country somehow. How are we going to do that? How do we get electricity around the entire UK? Uh, well, we do that using something called the National Grid. The National Grid is basically just a system of cables and transformers. So cables and transformers, which connects power stations to anybody using electricity. Who might be using electricity? Well, you're probably using it right now because you're watching my videos, which requires electricity. Um, but it could be schools, it could be businesses, it could be factories, it could be shops, uh, and it's consumers generally using electricity. We need the national grid to get it to them from the power stations where it's produced. So you might be wondering then, what is a transformer? Okay, we're not talking about robots in disguise here. We're talking about electrical transformers. You've all probably got one um, in your phone charger. Okay, you've got one in your laptop. We know already that out of the wall of your house, uh, you get 230 volts out. Yeah, but 230 volts into your phone will damage your phone. Yeah, so we need to change that voltage somehow. And we do that using transformers. Yeah, we've got two different types of transformer. We've got step up transformer, step down transformer. The up and down bit is referring to the voltage or the potential difference. That's what we're doing to the potential difference. We're increasing in a step up transformer. We are increasing the potential difference. Okay, we're increasing the potential difference. As a result of that, we reduce the current, okay? You might wonder why the, why the current is going to go down if the potential difference goes up. Well, if you think about it, power, electrical power, is equal to current times by voltage, right? And we know from the conservation of energy laws that if you put some power in, you have to get exactly the same amount of power out. So if you reduce voltage, you have to increase current, or if you increase current, you have to reduce voltage and vice versa okay so that's why um, so step up transformers and step up referring to the voltage the potential difference we increase the potential difference we reduce the current step down transformer is reducing the potential difference um, which which does the opposite to the current it increases the current okay why do we need to do that though in a in the national grid why is it that we need to change the potential difference so significantly well we'll come to that now so what does the national grid actually look like so where is it there it is so this is our, this is my diagram of the national grid okay so let's start at this end with the power station okay so power stations are what is producing the power for the uk okay we can actually predict how much power the uk might need Okay, so at any one time, let's say, for example, there's a, there's a big football game on, FA Cup final, okay? Chances are, at half time in the FA Cup final, a lot of people are going to get up and have a cup of tea. Yeah, we need to predict that so that we can produce the power needed to uh, power those kettles so that we can turn on, uh, have a cup of tea at half time. Um, likewise, we might turn down the power stations at night time when fewer people are using electricity because everyone's asleep and the lights are off and the TV's off. Uh, so we can predict that. Power stations are never really never really running at maximum capacity so that we've got that extra little bit of room in order to increase the power output if we need to, if demand uh, demands it. Okay. From the power station we go to our step up transformer. Okay, remember step up transformer will increase the potential difference, okay? Increase the potential difference or increase the voltage. That's going to reduce the current. Why do we need to reduce the current then? Well, when we get to these transmission lines, if you've got, let's say, like a high current flowing through anything, the issue with high current is high current means lots and lots of heat. Yeah, Lots and lots of heat being produced, lots and lots of wasted thermal energy being produced is not going to make for efficient transmission. So we need to reduce the current in order in order to reduce our energy losses along these transmission lines. Okay. 
When we get to the other side, towards the consumer end, we've got step down transformers, which is going to reduce the voltage. Okay, but that's also that is going to increase the current. Okay, so back to normal levels again. We're going to reduce the voltage because these track with this step up transformer is actually going to increase the voltage to so somewhere around 400,000 volts. 400,000 volts through your plug socket is not good. That will it will just zap you if you try to plug something in. So we need to have step down transformers to reduce the voltage to safe usable levels which are actually useful to us in the home um, and then the homes and other consumers of businesses say we've got, we've got say businesses we've got um, schools factories all that sort of thing this is on this end here so now we've got the normal 230 volts of potential difference being supplied to all the other consumers there okay so there's our national grid yeah starting at the power station going to the step up transformer increasing the voltage reducing the current that's going to mean efficient transmission, less energy wasted in the lines. We're going to then go to the step down transformer to bring the voltage back down to usable levels. And then we're going to send it to homes and consumers. Right. Let's have a look then. So we've got some, we've got two follow up questions. Have a go at those. Answers in the description. See you in the next video.